J. Carr. Late second round talent. Nothing but greens. A 4.57. And he, he, this dude was a combine beast apparently. First in vertical, on his vertical. First in broad jump. Second in three cone. First in his 20 yard shuttle. And second among bench press. I think we, I think we could have found the guy. I think CJ Carr out of Alabama could have been the guy. Hopefully, Carr could be the Alabama running back that you know becomes a star in the league and he is projected late second rounders so we definitely gonna have a late pick I don't even think we I don't even think we will need to trade up to get CJ Carr we'll definitely see how we'll definitely see how the draft goes but CJ Carr is is definitely he looks like a beast hopefully um, we, we don't get fooled by the scouting but he definitely looks like a beast He will definitely probably be a good running back there with Chris Johnson. Let's go ahead, Allen Wilson, seven quarter um, combine rating. So he didn't really do the most anything. He definitely he had 29 bench um, bench press reps, so that's good, but a little disappointing. I was looking at um, Wilson earlier. That was a little disappointing. Honestly, I don't think there's really see like this whole this whole running back class. It wasn't a lot of talent, like a lot of good talent, I believe. Um, a lot of mediocre type backs. And I know, as you see, I did some type of scouting on pretty much every run, or I did on every running back in this class. So I was going hard um, looking at running backs. Um, as for receivers, all of them were bust so far. Um, they've been looking at like the combine grades 5.9. Let's see what he did 4.4140. Um, yeah, but his vertical was wasn't too hot. Broad jump wasn't too hot either. So I definitely think I'm gonna stay away from receivers in this class, especially if I could get Josh Gordon. If I could get Josh Gordon, there's really no reason to to look at it. To look at receivers, um, tight ends. I was looking at a lot early because I didn't know running back is. Um, I'm not gonna have to worry about one until the second round. But um, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and look at some of these players I was looking at. I was looking at Brady Gaines. So let's see what Brady Gaines ended up bringing. Pretty much nothing. Uh, <laughs> that was disappointing. I did think that Gaines would do more. I'm surprised only 23 reps. So a lot of these running backs are repping more than these tight ends. Um, okay, let's look at uh, Christopher Skinner. He had a B catching traffic, C plus catching. Let's go ahead and use our last scouting points on him. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm figuring that out a little bit, too. I feel like the receivers are probably the fastest position out of all the positions. Um, receivers and cornerbacks, I'm, I'm getting. Um, running backs, a lot of them haven't really showed that speed. But um, I guess we'll find out. I do know that there's going to be a huge patch coming out for Madden. And um, I didn't know EA Sports told you not to start a, um, a franchise until they came out with the patch. But I'm definitely going to continue this on um, Titans one. I probably might start another one as well later on um, with another team once the patch comes out. But um, I'm not going to stop this Titans one unless it completely breaks on me. Um, we're going to keep rocking with this Titans one. So it's really not too much out here. Looking at centers, we do need a center. Top center, Scott Stevenson. He was projected on the early third round. Look like, look like he's the best. <laughs> wow! I never thought I would see that. Christopher Stevens is first in every single category in the combine. So that's pretty much the sign telling me that I need to somehow get Scott Stevenson in this draft, and that's definitely a possibility. We might be able to trade up a little bit. I do have um. Some players to try to get, try to trade. 
So like I, like I said, Bishop Sankey is definitely a player I want to trade. If I could trade Bishop Sankey and somehow land a third round pick, Scott Stevenson is definitely the way to go. And possibly maybe try to trade him and somehow get a second round pick. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna just start scouting some of these centers. I do think Stevenson is a beast, but I have points to to spend and I don't think none of these players are good. I think that I think that's it. I think I'm a, I think I'm done already scouting centers. Um I got defensive tackle. I know we just try to get one. No, we don't need one. He got yeah, no, let's try to get one. See if we can get a young defensive tackle. We don't get a little nada, but Possibly a young defense tackle might be might be okay. So JT Norwood, early first round talent. Did did just mediocre in the combine. Um, ben Austin, see what he brings. Definitely, I don't want to get one that early though. But I have scouting points below, so we we gonna keep keep going with some of these players. Um, I know I looked at some late, and none of them were that good late. So. We'll find out. And I don't really think. I mean, Jackson Austin, he might be. He might be decent. Projected fifth rounder, talent fifth rounder. But he did okay. He did okay during um, the combine. The broad jump, the vertical jump, does not matter pretty much at all for a defensive tackle. So I'm not going to take too much into that. But just as a fifth round talent. Uh, he might not be too bad. So I'm writing down, I'm writing down Jackson Olsen's name. Um, cornerbacks, that could be a position that we could try to get late. Now, I did look at these corners early. <laughs> Antoine Griffin looks like... He could be a real deal cornerback. <laughs> I was not planning on a cornerback in the first round. But Antoine Griffin looked like he could be another player. So I'm definitely going to write his name down. 6'1", um, 208 pounds. I mean, he has perfect size. Out of Alabama, of course. Of course he's out of Alabama. Alabama just they just always have players in the draft apparently. <laughs> he is a first rounder. Early first rounders. So I don't know if he's gonna fall to us because we're gonna have a late pick. Um we're gonna be somewhere in the twenty probably twenty two to twenty five range. That should be where we pick at. We finished ten and six, so Maybe trade up, possibly. Um, we'll see how the how the draft is going, and we'll see what we have to do to give up. I don't want to move up too much to get a cornerback, but he's definitely he's definitely on the list. Put it like that. <clears throat> These other corners, Lascelle Taylor. I believe four three forty. So this man, if he's nothing else, he could be a return man. Um, he has the um, three cone 
second in the shuttle. If nothing else, if he can't cover anybody, Taylor might be able to be a cover um, a returner. So that's the, somebody we could definitely look at. What was his mid first rounder if he falls back? I don't think Griffin's going to fall to us. I, I really don't see that happening too much. Is there any other combine freaks later that I've missed? Demarcus Chapman. Um, as a late third rounder, I, I could take a flyer on Demarcus Chapman. He's still 6'1". I, I, like, I like size for a cornerback position, especially this year's Madden. Um, his vertical jump was 39, so at least he'll be able to contest, hopefully, some of these aggressive catches. So let's write him down as a possible third rounder. Late third, uh, late third rounder, so I guess if we don't get our center, anything like that, we can try to get, try to look that way. I do like the scouting grades. It definitely lets you see a broad view of all the all the players without even having to scout them all. <clears throat> so Jason Nunley, um, he might be okay. He's a fourth round pick. If he's available, he's one of those. I don't need to get takeaways. Look at Justin Gray, 6'1", 206 pounds. I'm already kind of thrown off by his man coverage. And, yeah, I should have, shouldn't have wasted any more points, but his size got me. But that's that's a no. So we're going to put Justin Gray on the for sure don't draft list because clearly he's not too hot of anything. So like, you didn't miss much. Um... I'm trying to recap what I did. I put in a lot of free agent bids. Um, I'm trying to get like Josh Gordon and things like that, but we, none of them are signed yet. So you haven't missed too much. I'm looking at the scouting on the combine points and the grades for the scouts, but I haven't missed too much, honestly. Yeah, there's pretty much no free safeties. A four seven one at free safety position. That's that's <laughs> that's not nothing to brag about. Put it that way. Yeah, a lot of these free safeties don't even look too high. So we're back. I don't know where the skills um use the rest of these points at. Honestly, I could try to look at a late receiver when in doubt load up on receivers, but I don't really think none of them. Um, JT Kelly, B plus catching, 446 out of Drake College. Never heard of that college, but. Car, I de car is a definite. I definitely want to get Car. CJ Car. If he's available, um, I can show you guys what I'm talking about. If he's available, definitely want to get CJ Car. He is. He's the top. He's our top guy. He said he's projected the late second rounder. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um, I don't know if I want to try to trade down, possibly load up on second round picks. That also depends on what happens with Antoine Griffin, the cornerback. But CJ Carr is a, a definite. That that's that's our go-to guy. Hopefully that could fix our running back problems. By going with him. I guess we just finished looking at tight ends late. I have looked at a lot of tight ends. I don't think I spent any more scouting points on them. So. Honestly, guys, I don't know what to spend scouting points on. Don't worry, you're not the only one. I never thought I would see the Lions win the Super Bowl either. And winning the way they did. that They beat the Ravens 30-3. to That was the final score of the Super Bowl.
30 to 3, so it wasn't it wasn't too close. <clears throat> okay, let's look at kickers. A five five one forty. <laughs> oh man. This, I can't even fully scout them, so we're pretty much Matter of fact, I could look at I could look at a punter. I did look at a punter earlier. I looked at this punter. Um, <laughs> this guy was a punter that was projected as to get drafted, so I did look that way. So pretty much, I think I'm about think I'm about out of points. So um, we're gonna advance the week, and hopefully, we could get some free agents next week. Um, all the free agents we wanted, we were the highest bidder. So, hopefully, they all want to come down to Nashville and play with Marcus Mariota. All right, so we got Tim Tebow. So it's official. Um, Tebow will be coming to Nashville, and then we also got Haloti Nada. So we did get two two players we definitely wanted. Tebow was more more for fun than anything, but Haloti Nada would definitely. Be able to help us out a lot. Alright, so let's look at where we're at with the rest of these free agents so far. Alright, so definitely we're we're still we're the only team bidding on Josh Gordon now. So I don't know if he failed another drug test or something, but we definitely we should definitely be able to get him. Barry Church, um, I might want to increase my bigs. I definitely want him, and now the Buccaneers are trying to steal him away from me. So um, we'll, we'll try to increase that a little bit. So he went up to eleven point five million dollars over four years. Leo Collins, um, highest bidder for him, and then Tyrod Taylor. We're the only person who's who wants who wants Tyrod, so I'm not too worried about him. Um, how do you say this? I think George Eloka. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Um, we could we could. How much? How much money do I have? That's a. That's a we have twelve million dollars. I don't think I can afford him. Then that will stop that conversation. <laughs> All right. So. Yes, I'm going to play the preseason. The preseason will probably only be. Two videos. I'll, I'll try to get two games in each video for the preseason. Um, pretty much just showing the key highlights. So you will get to see Tim Tebow, definitely. Um, I run a three-four um, zone blitzing scheme. That's the scheme I prefer to run. But um, we'll definitely see if we could get this guy. It's a lot of money. I don't even know if we, if, we, if we can pull this off, but. Dang, how much money are they paying them? Let's go, let's go to 41 million. I guess if that's still not the highest bidder. I don't know what to do because I don't want to go broke for them, so. Hopefully the Cowboys just decide to withdraw, <laughs> withdraw. But all right, we acknowledge both of those players. I really don't know who else to scout anymore at this point. I'm gonna be honest with you. So these scouting points is is really just. Really, just at this point, just scouting players, just random players. I guess we'll finish <laughs> finish these kickers out. I scouted about anybody I could, I could, I want to scout at least. 
and all the positions that I need. F awareness. He also has an F awareness. <laughs> they don't give kickers any type of respect on here. Um, I really don't know who to scout. Scout some more center just in case I can't get uh, Stevenson in the second or third round. Davis on line, I don't think. We look at our defensive line rating. See, the only thing with defensive line, you go left in, or but you need them to be. I don't need them to be a three-four defensive end, but I want a bigger defensive end if possible. So there's not too many to scout. Yeah, I really did waste those scouting points if you think about it. I really didn't know who else to scout. Kind of got in my mind where I want to go. So I'm not sure if they're going to give me more scouting points or not next week. But let's find out. I just really want to get these free agents. Hopefully, I can get Josh Gordon. All right, so we def okay, we got Tyrod Taylor. We got Barry Church, and we did get Josh Gordon. So we got the main players that we wanted. Leo Collins declined the offer. That's interesting. I think we were the only team that offered him a contract. <clears throat> so we could go back and we could look now at left guards once again. Oh, I can't look at left guards once again. That's the end of the agency for now. I mean, we still don't look bad. As an overview of our team so far, Josh Gordon on one side, Doriel Green Beckham. Kendall right at slot. We're giving Mariota some weapons. We still need to improve these running backs, though. These running backs um, are terrible. I don't think weed is legalized in Tennessee. I live in Kentucky. I go to school at UK, so I'm not sure. But I, I don't think it's legal there. And then our defense so far is also, our defense looks pretty good. I feel comfortable with our defense. I feel comfortable with our defensive line. Jarrell Casey, now Haloti Nada. Um, those are going to be beasts trying to fill up these um, running lanes. So I tried to trade um, Sankey early. I guess the trade's back up. So, yeah, I definitely want to do that because if I don't trade him, I'll most likely, honestly, end up releasing Bishop Sankey. So. Do want to add? I'm gonna add him to the trading block first, and we'll be able to see next week if we're able to get anything. All right, so now they did give me more scouting points, so I guess. Nick, I'm trying to address a nickel cornerback in the draft, possibly. Um, we will find out, though. We will, we will see what, how this draft is going to turn out. So I guess I'm going to just go through and scout pretty much every 3-4 left end. See if we could possibly find one late. In these drafts, but that's it. There's only three, <laughs> three, four left ends in this draft class. Ben Walter is pretty good. Both, both the first two, Tay Mason wasn't bad either. A hit power, B plus block shedding, 35 reps on the bench press. Um, little like 299 pounds. I do, I would want him at least over three, 310, 315, but his strength is there. Um, but I just don't really need him. So honestly, unless he end up, end up falling for whatever reason, um, I probably wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't end up drafting him. There hasn't been too many gems so far, honestly. Um, I wouldn't say there's been a lot, a lot of gems.
I'm really just going through and yes, I'm just trying to get rid of scouting points. I don't want to leave um leave them unused, but I feel like you get an ample enough of um scouting points. all our scouting points there so all right so the next stage of the draft this is what i've been waiting for this is what we can finally get excited and see what we can get so i'm guessing i'm not sure that we, i don't know how the draft screen works so i'm guessing nobody offered to trade for bishop sankey but i'm gonna try to trade him in the draft hopefully we can get a pick or hopefully we can move up They still have quite a lot of players available still. Reggie Nelson is still available. Um, definitely try to get a player like him. I don't think I could sign him until later. So these were the top free agents. If you missed the free agent um, signing, these were the top free agents that we had so far or um, this year in this offseason. Matt Forte went to the Lions. The Lions already had a great rushing attack, so I guess them adding Matt Forte, the Lions might, they're trying to win another Super Bowl. I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> they have an ample amount of um, running backs. So Prince of Mucan Moore signed with the Indianapolis Colts. So we will be seeing Prince twice each year from that here on out so that's the first big signing cj anderson going to the new england patriots jonathan joseph doesn't care about his career no more he's going over there to oakland <laughs> i don't think nobody else really i don't think our conference signed too much costanzo signed with the um with the colts I think our division, Ray McDonald signed with the Colts. So the Colts, the Colts struggled last year. The Colts struggled for last year, but definitely um they're trying they're trying to step up. We gotta look at Amir Abdullah. I like I I think Amir Abdullah is gonna be a beast in real life. But the Madden he the Madden he wasn't too hot. I'll I'll go ahead and look at Amir Abdullah now. Let's look at the lines. that could be a possibility but look how many running backs the Lions have it is ridiculous very unnecessary <clears throat> see he has 87 speed which I think they underrated him a lot his acceleration is 95 so they they didn't know he could accelerate that was good but he's um his carrying scares me. Sixty eight carrying, sixty one trucking. We know I know he's not a a bruising type back. But Abdullah Abdullah and, and Madden didn't give Abdullah a lot to work with. I feel like. Um, Amir Abdullah definitely. Um, Amir Abdullah definitely probably be someone we could try to go with later in this draft. Um, like you said, like the fourth round pick, fifth round pick. If we can't get um, CJ Carr. If we get CJ Carr, I'm not going to worry about um, Abdullah too much. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start this draft. The Bears are now on the clock. Honestly, I might be able to trade uh, Bishop Sankey for Abdullah as well. Maybe, if that's possible. So, I guess they have a new draft screen. Never done the draft, so we're going to see how the draft works.
Okay, so definitely not trying to move him right now. Let's see if we could get. Let's look at the draft board. I'm pretty sure. Let's look at overall. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Antoine Griffin is eighth. So we would need a lot to move up to get him. <clears throat> okay, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I know I don't want to move up for the first pick. So let's, let's see who the Bears the Rams go with are now on the clock. So the Bears draft a quarterback. <clears throat> That's fitting because... We all know Jay Cutler is trash now, so <laughs> oh, they did get a quarterback, so that's good. Yes, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube, but it probably won't be until tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest. I'm going to upload it um, probably starting tonight, but these long videos I probably have to cut into two parts. And it's probably going to take forever um, to actually upload and render and all that stuff to YouTube. So I'm probably gonna skip a skip a couple of picks. The St. Louis Rams. The 49ers are now on the They clock. go with the outside linebacker. Um, the Buccaneers are now on the clock. 49ers get a defensive tackle. The Dolphins are now on and the clock. And there we go. I thought I could wait a little bit longer, but Tampa Bay grabs Antoine Griffin. So I honestly don't think at this point. Look at the rest of the draft board. Any of the players I really wanted are still here, or, or that I need in the first round. So honestly, I might be able to try to trade down a little bit and try to get more players or more picks. Because CJ Carr is the fourth running back. So I guess once I start seeing some of these running backs go, I know we'll have to we might be able to get them. So what I'm going to do is... Yes, Thanks for reminding me to pause the draft. I'm going to send him to our picks. I know he's not going to go before our pick. Now that he's just been picked, Adam, what can you tell us about James? This right. guy was one of the most targeted receivers in the red zone in all of college football last season. Yeah. And all those targets helped him set a new school record for receiving touchdowns this season. This guy is the definition so of a red zone threat, using point. his body control and sure hands to make a play on the ball, no matter how tightly covered so he was. All, he was sure to bring in at least one or two touchdown passes backs, a game, uh, with some of those coming in clutch situations. This team has been looking for help in the red zone, and it may have found it with this receiver. We're looking for a team to rebuild. I like the Bears a lot, and I like the Redskins. I think the Redskins, um, <laughs> Redskins need a lot of rebuilding over there. So I think I might be able to hold off on CJ Carr for, for right now. Maybe, hopefully. Um, let's see what we could get for trading out the first round. The Bears second rounder, the third rounder. Yeah, I don't want to miss out on a car. I might really have to go ahead and get him now. There's nothing too enticing right now at this point. I'm thinking I get I go ahead and get Carr now. Then I could get Stevens in the center with our second round pick. Alright, so that's what we want to do. We're going to make the... <laughs> we're going to get, um, take CJ Carr. It's a reach. But we're going to see if we get fooled by the combine and our scouting, our scouting director. So we'll see, we'll see what he brings us. The Redskins are now on the clock. Wow. Wow. CJ Carr. We found our running back. He is the second... Highest rated player in the whole draft. 87 speed. 
95 agility, 92 acceleration, 90 trucking, and that's clearly what I wanted. I wanted the back that had some type of speed behind them, be able to truck, 88 stiff arm, 93 juke move. I think we just found our running back of the future. 91 carrying. Wow. CJ Carr. Wow. This. He was projected to go in the late second round, so that is great. That's probably that might be the steal of the draft so far. Twenty third overall, got the second best player. Um, honestly, we'll let's see what we could do. Let's see what we could do. We won't go to our next pick because if we could get if we could get Adam Scott Schechter has Stevenson, the inside scoop on Russell. When I asked Matt Miller pick, about his combine, I think the we'll look on fine. his face summed it up well. Disappointment. He told me the lack of explosiveness. Yeah, thanks, guy. I, I was scared. I definitely, I definitely was going to pass on him, but I'm glad I did. Now, Stevenson got picked one pick the before my pick, so that's the center I wanted. To he went to the Redskins. Quickly. In today's league, so I definitely you need to be able to cover athletic tight ends and backs out of the backfield, and that because that's a problem for him, he may only be out there on first and second I downs. It'll be interesting to see how this Let's team utilizes him. What will we be able to get? Yeah, he went one pick before me, but don't worry. I'm definitely going to try to trade for him after this <laughs> after this draft is up. Hopefully, we could be able to get him. There's really not too much um, here at this point. I guess we could try to see. We can see who's available. Dang, I wanted that. I did want that bad. Mm. All these other running backs are still here. I think that's funny. <laughs> look, matter of fact, look at these cornerbacks again. I don't remember how good they were at this point. The Chapman was a late third rounder. I don't want to reach twice and move up and get him now. I could go ahead and grab me this middle linebacker. That's what that's I know this is not what I originally planned, but I'm thinking now. I'm going to go with Sampson. I wanted a middle linebacker. I mean, clearly he's one of the best middle linebackers. So we're going to go with Sampson. We're going to see. The Saints are now on the clock. Hmm. And I probably could have been better off trading down. 75 overall. 86 speed. So, I mean, he has promise. He has promise. 245 pounds. <laughs> so, we're, we're, it's not bad. It's not, it's not terrible. Not a terrible pick. <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do, actually, right now, is we'll, we'll see if we can actually make an Abdullah trade. And see... I want to see if I can try to trade um, Bishop Sankey for anybody right now. I just want to see if I could trade um, Bishop Sankey for Abdullah right now. I doubt it, but we'll we'll, we'll see. If that's a possibility. Cause I think Sankey could have a higher overall. Or never mind, he doesn't have higher overall. They don't even want. They don't even want Bishop Sankey. They're never interested in that. <laughs> He's the third, the third bag. Let's see if we get him seventh. I'm cheap. Let's see if we get him for seventh. Bam! There's Abdullah, guys. We got Abdullah for you. So we did get Amir Abdullah, Chris Johnson, and we have C.J. Carr as our running back. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I still, 
see, Chris Johnson is still going to be there. He's our speed back. Cobb is pretty much going to work his way off the death chart now. <laughs> Well, Let's go to Adam now, who's got pick. more on the Patriots last pick. Abdullah. Matt Miller and a number and of other stars. I need to quit doing this. Every time I advance the next round, Chapman now goes game. two rounds Following before a great senior year, he came into All-Star Week wow. looking like one of the better linemen Everybody prospects this goes. year. Everybody I want goes. I mean, I, I feel like you start, have to reach. The coaches I'm glad I didn't wait on CJ Card now. I'm really up. To see how he would react. He handled everything that was thrown at him, and not once looked overwhelmed or gassed so from now the extra we're going to see who's available Tom McShay in the tells third me round. He looked now. like a dominant force on the line, keeping the quarterback clean and opening holes for the tailback to run through. He should be a great fit on this team's offensive line and possibly a day one starter. Let's see what other cornerbacks were available now that we missed out on our guy. Trishawn Nunley is, won't help us too much. Cause I, I, I really like to play a lot of zone. I play a lot of zone. So we definitely want his zone covers to be up above a C. But as a nickelback, I mean, yeah, Chapman went two picks before us, so. Who does Deron Carter play for? I'm not even sure who that is, really. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure who that is. Look at Duran. Oh, I didn't know exactly who that is now. <laughs> so, what would you guys think? A six round pick for Duran Carter? Okay, so they definitely don't want they didn't want the six. We go we go to five. That'll probably be the highest I'll try to go for. Them. Let's see if we can get them. There we go. So we got him for the five. We did get him for the um, fifth round pick. Since there's nobody here, I'm going to trade out. I'm probably going to take this Cowboys trade because I don't think they're going to be too high next year. If we want to trade out, pick up a third and a fifth for How next How come nobody's year. at the podium? That's because both teams are right year. now working on a trade. And we're going to keep going. Go to our fourth round pick because I already got an extra made second Austin round their pick newest for next player. season. Sometimes so we can stock up on picks. Sometimes an overall 40-yard time taking base value can be misleading, and here's a good example why. At his pro day, you might have thought that he ran the same time as he did at the Combine. But if you look at the split times, he was significantly quicker in the 10 and 20 yard splits than he All was right. previously. His top end speed is still available. roughly the same, but what he was able to show people. was a quicker burst off the line, something that's valued on any position down in the trenches. 
His quicker first step help him rise a bit over some of the other defenders and be taken with this pick. What do you guys think about Antonio Russell in the fourth round? 4-3-2. He could definitely maybe be a um, a returner. That'll probably be his only reason is just to be a return man. But Or this guy. This guy ran a 4-3 flat. <laughs> flat. <laughs> Even better. Eduardo Russell. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Antonio Russell or Eduardo Russell? I don't know if they're brothers or not. But they're both fast. <laughs> Alright, let's go with Ed Eduardo. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. The Saints are now on the Damn, court. there it is. His overall is he this might be the worst player to ever get on the field ever. Fifty-four overall. Fifty-four overall. This might have been <laughs> The worst overall I've ever drafted in any Madden game. But it's 97 speed and 92 acceleration. You guys will see Eduardo Russell on our return team. <laughs> Yo, I've never drafted a 54 overall before. <laughs> Well, we can't get much worse there. I think that's going to be our worst our worst pick that we made. But he will play. He will not get cut. I can guarantee you guys that. You guys will see Eduardo on the 53-man roster. <laughs> the Titans are now on the clock. All he can do is run. Hopefully, he get a kick return and just run straight. Straight line. Hopefully never break a tackle. And we'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking at now? In round number five. I had... I wrote down Jackson Austin. A decent tackle. Knowing my luck, he's probably gone. He looks like he's gone. Every time I want somebody, they're gone. I don't know when he went. But he clearly went way before he was supposed to go. Okay, so. <laughs> we do have an Olympian on our team, so. <laughs> hey. At this point. I'm not, I'm not sure where we should go. I haven't scouted any of these players. I'm blindly drafting. I am blindly drafting right now. I could get this punter. He's the only punter that's projected to get drafted. I needed. I do need another. Well, I wanted another punter that could punt further. So we're gonna go with the punter. We're gonna go with the punter. Yeah, the other Russell is gone. The Redskins are now oh, on the man, I didn't even look at his stats. Dang, I clicked A2. <laughs> we got a punter, but... <laughs> Damn, so we're done. We are done with the draft. Oh, it wasn't bad. It was interesting. That was an interesting draft. Um, four players. CJ Carr is a beast. 21 years old. Four years. Gabe Simpson. Samson. He's going. He, he's going. He's going to see him on the field. Eduardo Russell, probably the best 54 overall player you will ever see in Madden history. <laughs> His catching isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. 74 catching. That's not... That's not terrible. That's not... That's, and he's a return man. Like I said, he's going to... He's going to be the returner. Okay, so let's actually look at this roster. 
I'm sure I need to sign some more players because I'm sure I don't have a full 50 or 53 man roster right now. So we have four quarterbacks Tyrod Taylor, Tim Tebow. Does anybody wear number 15? Hmm. So somebody's wearing number 15. Depending on who. Oh, Justin. No, oh, who's wearing number 15? It's Justin Hunter. I forgot. I can't take Justin. 15 off Justin Hunter. Well, I don't want to take 15 off Justin Hunter. What number should we give Tim Tebow? Fourteen, ten. I guess we just keep Tebow on number fourteen because they don't have eleven. They do have number one. I don't know how he looks at number one. I don't know if I dig number one. We don't have number five. Don't have 13. We don't have any good numbers for Tim Tebow. I mean, we can give Tim Tebow number one. You guys feeling number one for Tebow? Or 14. I think 14 looks the best on Tebow. Or one. I don't know. I'm gonna just keep him keep him at 14. I'm gonna keep him at 14. I think that's it looks the best. But no one voted 14, so maybe I'm maybe I'm weird. <laughs> oh the one that voted 14. Now I could give him number five and I could change Tyrod Taylor. What do you guys think about that option? Okay, we'll just move Tim Tebow. We'll keep Tebow at number one. We'll just move him to number one. Um, CJ Carr. Now this, Abdullah still 20. Abdullah is 21. Who was who my number 21 on my team? I don't know. Uh, Nor seriously, one twenty one. That makes sense. I'm hearing what you guys are saying. That's what we could do. We could put Tyrod at number two. We'll move Tim T with the with number five. Okay, so at these running backs now, Dexter McCluster is going to get released, so I might as well release him now. He only has a one year deal, so we'll take the cap hit for the year. I'm going to try to trade Bishop Zanke. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest to trade him for something. For something. CJ Cars, look at the numbers available for him. I'm gonna try to trade him for something. 
Dang, he's a little, he look a little bulky. Okay, but anyway. <clears throat> Number 22. 31. What do you guys think about 22? You guys like 22? You guys think cars should be 27? Okay. I can make up doula. I can make up doula twenty two. That's what we can do. That's what we can do. So we just move him thirty one. Okay, so we'll move Abdullah to 22. And then we will move Car to 27. And then we can start editing him. Yeah, so I already have him sleepless. I just leave it all my running backs back plates. Everybody gets a back plate. Uh, He has a dark, they say he has a dark visor. So his visor is supposed to already be dark. Um, I like my, my players to have small, smaller pads. He's not going to have generic cleats, I know that. <laughs> You guys like white sleeves or are you thinking team color sleeves? What do you guys think about this look? I think this is what we could rock with right now for CJ Carr. <laughs> Bam. Who else? What else? Who else is new to the team? Josh Gordon's already wearing 12. So I think we're fine there. Dorio Green back on. In the right, Justin Hunter. We got a lot of players. Eduardo Russell. <laughs> oh, let's look at Eduardo. See what see what he see what he's bringing to the table in terms of looks. Um, I might play one preseason game. My play one. Why does he have two different colors? What is he wearing? Okay, let's let's start over. Let's start over. I don't know what uh, what he's wearing.
So we have Eduardo Russell. <laughs> yes, he's the best player you've ever seen. <laughs> best player you will ever see wearing the Titans uniform. Let me actually look into Eduardo a little bit. He has normal development. That's... <laughs> oh, man. He has normal development. He can keep his feet in bounds. He fights for extra yards. He doesn't drop open passes. Eduardo Russell might be the greatest 52 player you've ever seen on Madden. <laughs> I could look at his overall at cornerback. We could see what, what that would end up being. His awareness is, is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best with Eduardo. I'm going to try to develop him the <laughs> best I can. His trucking is, is terrible. All right, so yeah, we're going to look at the cornerback. We'll see. He goes to a 16 overall cornerback. I don't think I could do that to it. <laughs> I don't think I could do that to him. Wow. 32 man coverage, 31 zone coverage. Anybody can run past Eduardo. And like, like I said, his, his awareness is so bad, he's never going to know you ran past him. <laughs> So I'm going to move him back to receiver. <laughs> we could try running back. It's definitely we could we could definitely try running back. Eduardo's 53. He's he's about the same that he was <clears throat> as a receiver. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be my kick, my punt returner, and kick returner. It is 97 speed. Chris Johnson's speed went from 93 to 90. <laughs> But I, I think I think I'm gonna leave him at receiver. I'm gonna leave him at receiver for now. But he's definitely you gonna see my kick returner and punt returner. And kick returner and punt returner. Yeah, Eduardo does it all. He does everything. <laughs> Plays quarterback, corner, receiver. The man does everything. Just for fun, we could see we could. I can't even put him back to to quarterback no more. Let me, let me. Wow. I guess Madden is done with me experimenting with Eduardo. Maybe if I try it now, while well, he's at receiver. 
It might let me move him back to quarterback. Yeah, here we go. He's a 13 overall quarterback. <laughs> That pass is passing. Yeah, I did. 26 throwing power. <laughs> 21 <laughs> short accuracy. 14 deep throw accuracy. <laughs> um, so we'll move Eduardo back. <laughs> back to receiver. <laughs> Try to look at all the pickups that we had and re-look at this. Let's start from the top. Let's look at the whole, whole lineup. So we still have Mariota. Obviously, CJ Carr is going to be our starting running back from now. Dorian Dickerson, Josh Gordon is the new addition. Delaney Walker, Cassano is going to be our two tight ends. Taylor Lewan. We still never got a center. Definitely need to get another center. So we can look at that. And our cornerback position is still still needs work. But we have Barry Church wearing number 24. And our rookie punter is in the game. So we might end up cutting Brett Kern. Let's see. Yeah, because his kick power is even, is even higher. So we'll just release the old guy. That does make sense. Look at that. Look at Stevenson. Seventy-eight overall. This is what we missed out on. This is what we missed out on. Let's let's try to let's try to get him. Let's try to get him. Eighty-seven run blocking. Eighty-three pass blocking. So let's try to. I can't. Why won't let me trade right now? Oh, I'm in the draft recap phase. Okay, let's get out of that. So I guess nobody offered me anything for <laughs> Bishop Sankey. I might really have to release him. But I'm going to try to move to... We're going to try to move for that, that Redskin Center, the Stevenson guy. So let's see, let's see if we can make that happen. They want a middle linebacker. They want a quarterback, a cornerback, a receiver. They want a lot. Okay. They need a lot. I'm going to see they're interested in Bishop Sankey, but I doubt it. I feel like nobody else in this world is, <laughs> is interested in Sankey, so... I really don't have nobody. I think I can move him four because we gave him just a hundred. That's our best, our best corner. And we can look at one of these draft picks now. I got a couple, a couple of them. 
but I doubt they'll end up moving them that quick. They just drafted them in the second round. <laughs> Hunter and Satan, you can see. <sighs> Matter of fact, let's try let's try those two. Let's try Justin Hunter, Bishop Sankey, and let's try some draft picks. Let's just look at free agency. Pick us first. Wow, there's really no running backs. A lot of rookies, though. A lot of rookies. Hoping maybe I could find a fast um, running back, but Let's see if they have a center that we could pick up at least for the time being, because we need we need something <laughs> in the middle. I'm blocking the 74. The rookie ride receivers. Um, I, don't, I don't think there are any. Here we go. Here we go. Kevon Ball. 92 speed. Uh, none of them were really that quick. I told you, Eduardo was the realest one out there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to end up getting Ryan Cook. We're going to sign him for one year. We need, we just need a center. And is there, hold on, is there a way I can look at how many players I have in general? So I know I don't have 53, I don't think. <clears throat> we have seven receivers. We really might have. We could get a we could get another left guard, but I think I have enough. Might have enough every position. Another outside line, so we need two outside linebackers. I probably want to add another cornerback too. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll go with D'Angelo. I run a lot of zone, so that's the main thing I look for. It's just the zone coverage. Right outside linebacker. Both of these players are going to be back. We don't need no one too expensive, but might as well just get Robert Mathis. I know he's old. These players hopefully would never hit the field. Kyle 
Kyle Wilbur. Defense tackles. I probably don't need one. I have a lot. Three, four. You only need that one. So and I'm probably going to play at least one preseason game. Probably about. Probably soon. About a minute or two. I just want to make sure I got all my positions. If I sign Brockers, or Brockers not he's not going to play. Oh, unless um, Nada gets injured. I'm going to sign Benjamin Watson. Just got I do like my tight ends. I have a lot. I have a lot of t um, defense tackles. No, no, I don't. I thought I had a lot of defense tackles. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I released them. I forgot. We'll go ahead and get Brockers then. We'll see. It doesn't hurt. Won't hurt too much. I think we have money. I think we have some type of cash space for a one-year deal. He only wants a million dollars. He don't want a lot of money. So that's a done deal. We can make that happen. <clears throat> this and let's reorder some of this stuff. <clears throat> I think I got everybody where I wanted. Watson, Delaney Walker dropped from a 91 to an 88. <clears throat> He's getting up there in age. Warren Mack got us, got us a center. Defensive side of the football. I think we might be all right here. Jason McCordy, Paris Cox, D'Angelo Hall. I think we might be solid. Now, return man. They have Paris Cox, but you know who we have to put. We have to put <laughs> Eduardo as our returner. Change running backs. Abdullah second. Okay. I meant to go to depth chart in that rosters. I'm tripping. I'm looking at running backs. I don't know what I was doing for a second. All right, so we're gonna put Abdullah at number two, Chris Johnson at number three, Cobb. If I can't trade Bishop Sankey by in the um, preseason, he's going to get released. But um, 